Hey everybody, uh, it's me. I'm going to show you a tour of my room. Uh, but first, my hallway. Um, a lot of doors in Korea like that. Um, but anyway, you punch in the code after you get off the elevator and you open the door. And then I have a separate code for my door, my own door. Okay. So. Uh, you come in, um, traditionally, uh, well, like just period, everybody leaves their shoes at the door. Um, and this is even in some buildings, not public buildings, but like like uh, public schools, you, everybody leaves their, their shoes at the door. Um, the kids at my school leave their shoes at the door. They have little cubbies, and then they wear their inside shoes or slippers or whatever they have. Um, I guess they don't have us do that. I guess all the Western teachers at my school are exempt from that somehow. But even some restaurants, uh, like, uh, yeah, restaurants with the traditional low tables that you sit on the floor to eat at, um, when you go on to the floor area that has those tables, you take your shoes off. Um, yeah, this cute umbrella. It's like $3. It's got little spacemen and planets on it. Uh, <laughs> when I opened it up when it was windy one day, it blew apart in two seconds. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I brought a snorkel with me. I thought that was hilarious. Um, by the way, if anybody knows what this is, I would like to know. Uh, it was in my apartment when I came. I don't know what it is. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so you come in and there's a hallway uh, with like cupboards and stuff for your clothes. Um, little pantries everywhere. Toilet paper! And my microwave, which was here when I came. Uh, I guess a previous employee left it here, which is really nice. Uh, my school. Yeah, so uh, there's certain things like that you just kind of are used to in America. Um, every once in a while I like to have cereal because I just grew up with cereal and but the only kind of Western cereals they have are like the really healthy <laughs> the really healthy granola kind of stuff which I guess is what they eat but um, like there's this stuff which is really sugary and not nutritional so it's kind of like <clears throat> um, but, you know, I guess I'll just have to do that. This is ramyun. In Korea, it's called ramyun, not ramen, like in Jap Japan. Um, so, if anything different in here, I guess there's corn silk tea, which I actually brought from America because I like it so much that I would bring it from America so that I could s s save money and already have it when I come here. Same with barley tea, just roasted barley seeds in their holes and you um, just make tea with it. Uh, it's not really tea, I guess. It's more like barley water. Um, okay, here's my bathroom. Korean bathrooms typically have like the shower head and the sink and the toilet all in the same area. Uh, so everything gets wet. Uh, my room, I guess this is a brand new apartment building. Maybe it's a little bit more westernized. I don't know, but there's a shower wall. Which is kind of nice, I guess. Uh, when you go to the... You might wonder, how does a wet bathroom work? Uh, like, So they have things like this to keep the toilet paper dry. And then when you go to the supermarket, you'll see sections of these plastic shoes. Or plastic slippers, I guess. Flip-flop kind of things. And those are for wearing in the bathroom. Um, to keep your feet dry. Um... Hi. Uh, let's see, nothing really different there. Oh, medical supplies. Like, this is hydrogen peroxide. This was 80 cents. Um, I don't know how much that is in America, but... Like, how much this would be in America, but... <laughs> it just makes sense that it, you can squeeze it out. Uh, anyway, but... Um, medical stuff is so much, so much cheaper in Korea. Uh, um, 
like you can get a crown for two hundred fifty dollars at the dentist, uh, and I think it's not only because people pay health tax here, but also uh, they don't have the pharmaceutical companies like jacking up the prices, like like the EpiPens. You hear about that all the time. So this is my room. This is one of those traditional low tables, and I got a puzzle with. In, that was in Korean. The um, reason why is because the, na the names of the countries are a little fascinating. Like they call um, America Miguk and England is Yangguk. Um, so it's a little like different. And then a lot of the other countries, uh, like Australia, is Australia. So it's just in their alphabet and pronunciation. This washcloth has a cute little cartoon radish guy named the Muji. Um, I try to get the cute funny stuff whenever I can or the stuff that just looks Korean um, just because I'm in Korea and it's more fun. Uh, so this is my washer on top of <laughs> on the bottom of my range. Uh, I was really blessed to have dishes when I came here, like they were they were in here. Um, fan that comes on, vent, all that stuff. Uh, these dishes you can ignore, just like I am right now. Uh, this is this is bachelor life. I wash my dishes and I just leave them on the rack instead of like putting them two feet above and. Uh, some important things uh, to me. This is a bit more important. I like to put that jerk seasoning on things, even though it's just a meat rub. Uh, those are those are the dirty clothes that I neatly folded in order to make this video, so as to give you an illusion of my orderly life. <laughs> um, yeah. So one of the big investments I made in Korea is I got this keyboard. And then I will ship back home with me. Um, uh, electronics are a bit more expensive in Korea, but this brand, uh, Kurzweil or Kurzweil, however you want to say it, is made here and it's so much cheaper. It's like almost half the price of what you would find in America. So I took the opportunity to make an investment um, that I would have made when I come back when I came back to America. I would have made the investment to get a new keyboard, but since this is so much cheaper here, I took the opportunity to make that investment now. So I have this really nice top of the line keyboard, which I'm really blessed to have. Uh, it's beautiful sounding. Um, you can do a lot of things with it. Um, unfortunately, I have to listen to it through uh, free headphones from uh, Hartford Community College Tutoring Center, Falson Hall. Even has it written on there. <laughs> uh, so when I come home and run it through my nice keyboard amp, uh, I'm probably going to be blown away uh, by how nice it is. And then I got a nice laptop uh, for doing the music stuff. Uh, I got a guitar for like pretty cheap, really cheap, at a thrift store here. Uh, the Windows, the Windows. Um, the whole wall is Windows, of course. I initially, because of all the strobe lights and street lights everywhere, I had to black out my windows. And I got this black vinyl stuff. And it was great in the wintertime because I never had to pay, I never had to turn on my heat. Um, but the <laughs> summer is coming and my room was being baked like you would not believe. So I looked up online and I found out you can just do aluminum foil. Uh, so I spent like, like, it was like $10, $12 a roll for that stuff and I had to get two rolls. But the aluminum foil was like $4 for the whole thing. So you just cover your window with water. I mean, not much water, like just get a, a sponge and coat it with water and then put the aluminum foil up and that helps it stick there. And then you use a little bit of scotch tape, maybe. Um, I gotta patch up some spots. Uh, but it works great, it reflects the sun. You put your hand up next to the window. 
I feel no heat. Well, a little bit just from the glass, but put my hand here where the rest of the, my vinyl stuff is and it's like hot. Uh, this is my view. Yeah, so that building there has lots of lights and then there's all the street lights. Um, now in this town, I wonder, the street lights, if you look up on, look up there, there's blue light, right? So then I look over there and there's red lights. And I'm beginning to notice, I think, the roads that go north and south are blue. And, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, and the other ones are red for east and west roads going east and west. So I, I I haven't really like looked 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 to make sure of that, but I think that might be the case at least in this town, uh, which is pretty cool for navigating. Um, so there's a parking area, and this is Central Park. Uh, there's a hill with trails there. Uh, okay, I gotta focus on the park, not the screen. Uh, there's all kinds of walkways and flowers and skate park and kids areas, a uh, fake stream that has fake rabbit or <laughs> rabbit sound, frog sounds. <laughs> um, who is talking? Oh yes. See that guy dancing down there with the balloons? It's like the, the advertisements are really in your face here. Like balloons and stands and loud music. It's like weird. Um, you go into the store and there's a guy on a megaphone talking like, it's like, what? <laughs> just let me shop, dude. I don't know what you're saying. He's just talking and talking and talking and talking and talking about the sales going on. Uh, anyway, those are apartment buildings uh, over there. And those two buildings are part of Metapolis. There's these four buildings. Uh, the one on the left over there is much taller. Uh, those are the most expensive and the third tallest, like, living apartment buildings uh, in Korea. Um, my church is that big building there. Sorry about the shakiness. Um, yeah, I've been going there. I've been really blessed making tons of friends there. Like, literally. This window is pretty cool. Uh, you can open it like this. Focus. And you can open it like this for ventilation. Um, yep. So bed sheets are different in Korea. You really cannot find, like even online, you can't find a regular square cut or re rectangular sh cut bed sheet. Um, you just can't find that here. Like it just does not exist. It's either quilted or like like this, like quilted, padded, um, or it's a fitted sheet, like that. Um, and then comforters are usually duvet covers, or duvet comforters, and they're more expensive. So to save money, I got two of these blankets. These are like corrugated cotton, they're like $10. And that's actually closer to what I have at home. I have like all these, like, you know, the woven, like, Mexican kind of looking blankets and I just pile those on in the winter time and I'm more used to that than using a single Comforter so this is more like my style uh, the way I have it set up in this sheet um, The Linux gave to me Carol. It's very nice. I'm so glad I brought that uh, This is my phone case. Uh, this is what this phone I'm using is normally in uh, My T-Money card you use that for the subway and the trains the buses not the trains, um, but yeah, this phone case, like, you can just flip that out, and beep, you know, it's very easy, and then you got your cards and stuff, uh, petty crime is much, is really rare in Korea, so this works really well, uh, in America, depending on where you are, not so much, um, this is Korean won, that's what the money is called, won, um, See, 1,001 is like maybe like 90 something cents, and then like by the time you get to 50,001, you're looking at maybe like $46 or something. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, of course, they have the see through. Yeah. Um, another. 
Oh, this is my school schedule for kindergarten. Between 9.30 and 2.30, we teach kindergarten to this, like I have my own class of six students. So like on Monday, last Monday, I taught them like greeting, a little reading book, uh, a story, and then snack time, and phonics. Um, phonics, lately we have, I've been dividing the higher level kids and the lower level kids, uh, they take turns, like they'll, the lower kids will play video games and I'll work with the higher kids one-on-one -on -one and then we'll switch halfway through the class. That way I can focus more on, you know, their particular levels. Uh, science and then theme activity, which is a packet that I have to make. And I just give them, we do two pages at a time. Um, math and then like homework and stuff and the wrap up. So. Um, and then there's the first grade class um, schedule. So, uh, trash, yeah. Um, is there anything else I can talk about? Um, yeah, this part, all this furniture I've gotten here, so I've gotten for free. Even the sofa, not the bed, because that's what, like this and that came with the room, along with the dishes. But all this stuff I got for free, even this thing, like, engulfed in abalone. Um, like, look at the detail. I like that. I got that for free. Uh, those apartment complexes that I showed you. Uh, they're, they all have areas for trash. And people leave their furniture there. And Koreans throw away a lot of furniture. And this is a swanky area, so there's a lot of nice furniture. But they move, and they get rid of all their furniture. Like, it's... I don't know what it is. Um, but they throw away a lot of furniture. And that's just great for a freeloader kind of guy like me. Frugal person. Um, this is Melodica. I got this at the supermarket for like $30. Which is really good, considering how much you have to pay in America. Uh, as a teacher or something like that. So... So that's my room, and um, hope y'all are doing well. And ah, Charizard! Somebody gave me that after they got it at a claw machine. <laughs> uh, not something I would expect to have in my room. Um, yeah, that's the stuff.